parfait ça Parfait <rire> Redon Manushi snatching is remarkable. T'as vu dans sa caté, il y a pas <rire> Tall, long femurs, long arms, short torso, built more like a jumper. Redon Manushi has managed to snatch some of the heaviest lifts that Western Europe has seen for quite some time in the 94 kilo weight category. Despite a body that looks made for a heavy pull, Redon is also known for having, at least by my estimation, the slowest pull, at least until mid thigh, in the world. His ability to fixate a barbell overhead that just half a second prior looked like it was rep 5 of a 5RM snatch deadlift is mind boggling. <laughs> the standard consensus for the snatch is that the barbell needs to move faster than the clean due to the increased height it must travel and that it needs a certain amount of speed coming off the floor along with a certain rate of force development required to accelerate the bar sufficiently to gain that required height. When Redon lifts, however, he seems to defy all of this. The bar comes off the floor slowly. It stays slow and then only at the hip does the speed actually appear. Also, due to his shorter torso and wider grip, the displacement of his torso required from peak extension to then getting under and fixating the bar is far less than with most people. Coupled with such a deep squat, his ability to catch weights that seem too heavy for everyone else becomes possible. Redon's strength doesn't match up with his snatching. With a max back squat and max deadlift of 230 kilos, his snatches of 172 and 175 kilos, for which he was awarded the French national records, works out at 76% of his back squat, 16% over the Soviet target of 60%. Redon's body is made so perfectly for getting under a snatch that it isn't so much that his squat and pull are necessarily weak, as much as it is that he's actually having to catch and stand up with a much heavier snatch than most. Working out 76% of your own back squat and trying to snatch it seems to most people to be conducive of clerking. Also, if you're interested in the straps that Redon is using here, these are the weightlifting house straps. You can get them in black or blue at weightliftinghouse.com. A couple of years ago, Redon Minushi retired. He decided that he'd had enough and so he ended his elite training regime. Still, he messed around with some crossfit, losing a lot of his strength and a lot of body weight as well, though he was still able to pull out an incredibly slow 150 kilo snatch. At points, his snatch to back squat ratio closed in on 80%, and in fact, during this period, Redon could snatch 150 kilos but barely front squat 160 kilos. Three months ago, under coach Louis Le Gennec, owner of this amazing gym, Power Camp, Redon decided to take another crack at the whip. And also just a big thank you to Lou for keeping me up to date and providing me with the amazing footage of this historic session. The program focused on his weaknesses, as all good programs do. In this case, building his abductor, adductor and quad strength in particular. Less than three months later, Redon turned up to this training session and snatched 185 kilos off the blocks, weighing just shy of 96 kilos. More than any current 96 in the world is snatching, just one kilo under Sarab Mwadi's world record. In fact, the last four weeks of this program that Louis wrote for Redon are up on the Wednesday House Patreon page if you want to check it out, the link's in the description. Louis now believes that Redon is ready for 180 kilos from the floor, 
despite only just front spotting a PR of 201 kilos. <laughs> see with his attempts at 190 kilos that to some extent because he doesn't have to move his body as far under the bar as many longer torso athletes that he meets the bar relatively high even here at 190 kilos he still has some room to absorb and ride down the weight which I suppose you absolutely need when you're snatching close to 80% of your backstroke. Make sure you all follow powercamp33 on Instagram and of course the legendary at Red on Minushi. His program is on the Weightlifting House Patreon.